And now back to The Good Life with Steve Robison and Jody Eisenhart on Live and Large. And we're back with more Live and Large. And in the studio, we have some really special guests today. I'm super excited about this event coming up. We have the Houston Cinema Arts Festival, which is happening November 6th through 10th here in Houston. It's a world-renowned, awesome, amazing arts event. And we have uh, Executive Director Trish Rigdon here. And we also have Houston attorney and film producer Kent Schaefer and artist, Renaissance man, violinist. Kent, you're you're like... Ev- he does it all. You're the guy. You're the guy. And, and Trish, I definitely want want to get to the details of the festival but first i just have to comment on kent because you produced this film an unreal dream the michael morton story which has been chosen as the closing night film for the whole festival so what in the world inspired you to make a film about this case actually it, it, to give credit to the person it's due is al reiner who's uh, uh the director been, he's a director and he's the guy that really put this project together and approach people that were in either arts or legal community to try to get support for it. So I became the executive producer, and um, we got together with Al, with a group of people, and we put, helped put the money together because we believe this is a very, very important story. Uh, it's a local story. It's a Texas story, but it's a story about injustice. It's a story about redemption. It, it's a story that people really need to see. And so we came up with the funds for Al to be able to go out and shoot this film uh, because he, he just did an incredible job of putting this story together in such a way that it's really a compelling piece. And so Michael Morton, he was wrongfully imprisoned for 22 years, and John Rayleigh, who's the Houston attorney who helped secure his release, will be on hand to present the film. So Trish, this is the kind of thing that the Houston Cinema Arts Festival has, has brought to the table for Houston. Uh, it is. You know, Houston is known as a business town. It's known as an oil town. But the truth is, it is a town that's about the arts. And in this film, we have an opportunity to bring business and arts together and to tell an important, compelling story at the same time. Um, it was the perfect close for our festival because two days after the festival, we're going to be having a spotlight on Houston where we're featuring some Houston filmmakers' works. So this, as a closing of the festival, was the perfect transition between those two. Um, our film festival focuses on the arts primarily, but we also have a focus on stories and films that are by and about Texans. And this story uh, certainly definitely is one fits that, that bill. Yeah. Well, Kent, that has to be quite an honor to be chosen to, to close out the entire festival. That that's big time. It is, and 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 we're really happy because it's the first time the film will be shown in Houston. And there are a lot of people here in Houston that you know were involved, like John Rayleigh, who's mm-hmm. an excellent lawyer. That that but for him, Michael Morton would probably still be in prison. So it's a chance for those people that are close to John Rayleigh and close to Michael Morton to come see it. We premiered in Austin at South by Southwest and won the Audience Choice Award. Uh, it will have a national broadcast beginning in December on CNN. Uh, so before it, it goes national, uh, we are happy that we had the opportunity for this film to be shown here in Houston, where it'll have a personal connection to a lot of people. Yeah, definitely. And so this event, this is the fifth anniversary of the festival, Trish, and it celebrates artists. It's visual, performing, and literary arts, and there are 60 events during the festival. So it's film screenings, but it's also live music and film performances and just all sorts of really amazing events across, you know, downtown and the museum district. Uh, Yes, we're going to be at Houston Fine Arts uh, Museum. We're also going to be at the Sundance Cinemas. we got two screens there. We have another location, what we're calling our headquarters, which is at the corner of Main and Polk uh, in Green Street, which is being rebranded now. Right, it used to be the uh, Houston Pavilions. pavilions, Right. So um, we're going to have a screening room there where we do a lot of our experimental work. And then we have um, also performance at the, or film performance at the Asia Society Texas Center where we're bringing the love songs of Tidon. Uh, it, it's an interesting mix of things that makes us very different than other film festivals because we do have this focus on live performance. Uh, there are several involved in the film festival this year, and you're, for all of the details, you can go to our website uh, to, to learn about them. Cinemaartssociety.org. 
org. We don't double the A's or the S's. It's uh, C-I-N-E-M-A-R-T-S-O-C-I-E-T-Y dot org. <laughs> and we'll put a link at livinglargehouston.com. I was going to say thank you for not doubling because that gets so confusing. Is that where people can uh, get ticket information and all that? Maybe a map of where everything is happening? Right. Everything that you need will be there. If okay. you click the link to the festival, you'll find you'll be, land on a page that has a link to all you know where to go, how to get around, the full film schedule, films at a glance how to buy the tickets, right, everything you need. People can get either an all access, you know, the whole festival, they can do weekend, they can do one day passes. And it's really, it's such a cool event. I went to, to several of the, of the uh, I guess the events, the separate events last year. And I thought it was really cool. And Kent, we also can't let you out of here without mentioning that concurrently, while this is all happening, you're involved in an exhibit at the new Esperson Gallery. And it's called Person Provenance Impression. And it relates to how things aren't always as they seem. So how did you get involved in that? And and tell us about your role as an, as an artist. I started taking pictures probably about 40 years ago, and then I got derailed because I decided to become a lawyer. <laughs> and throughout the, the time I've been practicing law, which is over 30 years now, what I've learned is that, that people have very interesting stories. Everybody does, no matter how boring they may seem when you first meet them. And I started looking for ways to capture that in, in photography, where the picture doesn't necessarily tell the story, but it suggests the story to the viewer. And so I started photographing people, and I'd go you know, throughout Europe or South America or, or the United States and try to look for people in, in situations where just by the very image of them, you can, it makes you wonder what happened before, what happened after. And uh, Tammy Dow, a local publicist and gallery owner, uh, saw some of my pictures and approached me and wanted to uh, do an exhibition. So it'll open on November 1st. It goes through December 4th. And... Uh, you know, we'll have several events where a lot of the money raised will go toward uh, a charity that, uh, you know, is in need of assistance right now. Well, I think it's so cool that all of this is happening in Houston, Texas right now. Everybody needs to check it out. The Houston Cinema Arts Festival, which happens November 6th through 10th. You can find out more at cinemaartsociety.org. And we didn't even touch on any of the other films, but there are some incredible award-winning films that will be shown and and you're going to want to find out about this and then concurrently the exhibit at Esperson Gallery with Kent Schaefer and some other amazing artists and we'll put more info up at liveinlargehouston.com All right. well thank you guys thank you both so much for coming by we look forward to all the exhibits happening it's going to be a lot of fun thank you for having us thank you